Okay. And uh, welcome back to the country. We haven't spoken to you since you've been over in London. How was that? It was good. It was good. We, we've been back uh, a couple of months now, and um, yeah, it was it was good. It took a bit of getting over the flights and things. Yeah. Played some great gigs though. Played in Canada as well for uh, about a week and a half. Played a few gigs there, and then went to London. And, and were they mainly showcase gigs, or were you just sort of getting out there amongst punters as well? Or? Uh, I guess they were as showcases. We could we were showcasing ourselves, but yeah. they weren't really set up. Like like that, I don't think. Yeah. And do you think you made any leeway? Have you had any sort of feedback from them? We're not talking about this subject. Oh, we're not? No? <laughs> okay, we're talking about the orchestra. We'll move on. Sorry. I was just digging around. It's always good to know when Kiwis go overseas gotta, and fly gotta, the flag. Gotta keep some things a little bit secret until <laughs> you know exactly what's happening. That's okay, fair about. enough. Maybe yeah. some good things are ahead for Golden Horse, perhaps. But good things right now, of course, because you guys have been uh, busy putting, now I don't even know how this works, getting together with an orchestra and sort of playing it all out. Kirsten, in, in, a, in a nutshell, how does that work? Uh, in a nutshell, it's the orchestra's a big monster and you have to tame it. Right. Yeah. And by taming it, that's you, you basically got to write down on paper what they have to do in terms of string arrangements and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's been a month and a month and a half for Jeffrey and I to do the arrangements and um, it's been a completely new experience musically, yeah. Was it a challenge? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> were yeah. tensions frayed? Tensions were frayed. We learned we learned a new computer program because um, globally now orchestras use computer programs, and mm -hmm. so we learned how to use that, and then we facilitated our work through that, and yeah, it was it was quite amazing. Yeah. Now, um, now I understand that they they came to you to to put it all together. Yeah. Why do you think they chose Golden Horse? Um. Well, if you listen to the album, it's got lots of arrangements on it, so I think maybe we were the first natural kind of let's veer towards that band, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe some maybe some more bands will take up this kind of opportunity. Try and get in touch with the youth market. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Are we in touch with the youth market? Yes, you guys. Are you very hip and cool? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, speaking of on the pulse, there is a term that they use in the industry called a slow burner, and that would be probably fairly apt for your album. 53 weeks it's been in the charts. Wow. That is that is almost unprecedented for a New Zealand album. How does that feel? Cool. I, it's I like quite it. Odd. <laughs> <laughs> people, keep, people keep reminding us that it's in there and that it's that it's doing these things. I mean, well, it's currently number two. I know. I know. It's mad. It's, it's completely mad as far as we're concerned. It's like we, we've sort of moved on and yet there's the album and it's just still plugging away. Yeah, it's, it's a great thing. It's wicked. A great thing. It means that the, it's just just the right time to be doing yeah. a second record. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and also the right time to re-release it three times. Is it? Well, sort of. I mean, it's the same album essentially, though. I don't just, say just prettier pictures on the cover. Well, yeah, yeah you change yeah. the pictures, a couple extra songs here and there. It's, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, but also it's that thing of um, we've never really had a marketing plan, so so it's quite extraordinary that's happened. Um, but but in that sense, we've just by re-releasing it, we've just reached out to a few mm -hmm. sort of more people that wouldn't normally pick it up, and I think that's been really effective because now it's just. Um, that turn the heat up a bit. Turn the heat up, and yeah. they, they, they keep kind of, people keep discovering it. Yeah. So we still get emails. Carrying it over the neighbour's fence, what's that yeah. you're listening to? Yeah. yeah, yeah, so we still get those kind of really fresh emails saying, I've just discovered your album, and that's just brilliant. Cool. You know? Hey, well, you guys, this Saturday night with the Auckland Philharmonia, yep. uh, there's still some tickets on sale, but no door sales. Oh, no, there'll, there'll be some door sales if there's any left. Yeah, if, if, there's, any if there's any left, let that be the warning to you, these guys with the Auckland Philharmonia, and then down to Christchurch after that. Yes. Yep. Some, yeah, some of the show down there. The Busy time for Golden Horse Ahead. Look, now, this is just them by themselves now. It's a video. Thank you guys for coming in. This is maybe tomorrow.